The Equalis reverse concept is based on three principles designed by Professor Grimaud. It is a semi-constrained prosthesis. There is no risk of superior instability. There is medial displacement of the center of rotation, with no risk for glenoid loosening. There is a lowering of the humerus, providing for restoration of deltoid tension. Absence or incompetence of the rotator cuff results in ascent of the humeral head, that is, superior instability. The deltoid becomes shorter, and the length of the deltoid lever arm is decreased. The Grimaud reverse shoulder prosthesis moves the center of rotation medially and distally, which restores the deltoid tension and increases the length of the deltoid lever arm. The humeral component is available in two versions, cemented and cementless. The cemented humeral stem is microbeaded cobalt chromium. The cementless stem is titanium with hydroxyapatite coating. It is designed to anatomically match each individual patient. The stem is offered in four diameters, 6.5, 9, 12, and 15 millimeters, and four lengths, 100, 150, 180, and 210 millimeters. The metaphysis is available in two diameters, 36 and 42 millimeters. The ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene humeral insert comes in three thicknesses, 6, 9, and 12 millimeters in each diameter. However, the proper balance cannot be achieved with the humeral insert. It is still possible to add a 9 millimeter humeral spacer, which will increase the thickness up to 15, 18, or 21 millimeters. The grooved, hydroxyapatite coated peg of the glenoid base plate allows press fit insertion. The glenoid base plate is further secured with four screws. The anterior and posterior screws provide compression and can be angled up to 30 degrees in any direction. The superior and inferior screws lock in the base plate's threaded ring. The threaded ring allows free angulation of the screws within a certain range and locking in the position that offers the most reliable anchorage in bone. For the superior screw, the range of angulation is 0 to 30 degrees in the upward direction and from minus 15 to plus 15 in the anterior posterior plane, that is, towards the base of the coracoid process. For the inferior screw, the range of angulation is 0 to 30 degrees in the downward direction and minus 15 to plus 15 in the anterior posterior plane, that is, towards the lateral angle of the scapula. The glenoid sphere is available in 36 and 42 millimeters to match the diameters of the metaphysis. It is impacted and threaded onto the base plate. <laughs>